I'm just gonna say it like this. I need Big Macs. You guys ever have days where you just need Big Macs? Well, that's me today. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, we're in the McDrive through. I am not committing quite yet because I don't know. I know I said Big Macs, but now I'm thinking maybe the two and fries is too many. I think I'm gonna go with a double Big Mac and a poutine because it is a nice cold winter vibe. Maybe I'll have a poutine. I kind of do really want fries and other sauces, but ah, we'll see here. I don't know. It's just poutines are so much easier to eat in the car. Hi there, big lucky ones for everything. Hello, uh, can I get a double Big Mac meal? Can I get the fries as a poutine though? And um, can I get two sweet and sour and one barbecue sauce? I'll just do a bottle of water, please. Yeah, say junior chicken. Yeah. Add tomato, please. And that's everything. Hello, thank you. Have a good day. You too, appreciate it. Well, that was incredibly fast. Okay, the vehicle goes off because it's not that cold out today it's only like minus five so yesterday was harsh very very harsh and today is not as harsh it's minus five which isn't bad so i settled on the double big mac poutine and a junior chicken add tomato and i have an anonymous subscriber sponsored shout out not intentionally sponsored but i'm saying that this is sponsored by them because i had a very nice charitable person yesterday hit me with a late christmas surprise okay so the first thing we must do is eat a hot poutine you got to have it hot we got a wooden fork here i didn't order ketchup i usually blasphemize uh, my poutine with ketchup but i wanted to see what it's like with barbecue sauce today i think it would be interesting but here a mcdonald's poutine for you nice and hot on a cold winter day How's it looking? I don't know, but I do love them. Ooh, <laughs> that looks really nice right now. Really, really nice. Ay, 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 guy, guy, guy. That's real nice. I want to see what it'll be glistening and flexing like when we get this barbecue sauce on it. Ooh, wee. I'm not even gonna like taste test it. I'm just going full committal on this. I just, I want to try it like this. A barbecue sauce poutine. It's already, I can tell you, going to be flames. I just know it is. All right, so shout out to you if you're watching. Basically, this first bite's for you. I know you didn't request this meal specifically or anything like that. You just hit me with a uh, generous 50 bones. As a general thank you for the vids and all the things, the, you know, the pleasure or whatever entertainment you've got out of them. So your generosity is massively appreciated. The secret word is popcorn. You know what I mean. That was the e-transfer security answer um, of this person's favorite snack. I'll be honest with you, popcorn is a delicious, delicious snack. I like it. I've always been a chips guy though. Once you pop, you just can't stop. That's my whole vibe with chips. I just love chips, but popcorn is delicious. I recently picked up uh, those shakers with the the flavor shakers, and I got salt and vinegar and dill pickle. So I've been eating salt and vinegar and dill pickle popcorn here and there when I'm watching. Like lately, uh, my dirty like I'm just such a Yellowstone person. Like the, I'm, I love Yellowstone, and uh, the show Big Sky. I weirdly got into. Although there's some strange thing about the way ABC does their cinematics. Like it's, you can tell that it's ABC. It's very ABC. And I don't know if it's, if it's off putting per se, it's just not like as clean of a style or something. It feels very made for TV style. I don't know how to explain it, but 
I figured I'd dedicate this one to you. Um, on that note, I guess we should uh, mention the fact that I am starting up the sub sponsored request again. All the details will be pinned in the comment on this on all my videos going forward. Basically, um, I had to shelve them a long time ago because since like late August, early uh, or early September, a I just got really fat. <laughs> I had to work on that, but B was uh, P PayPal's being a dink basically, and uh, you know I've heard people run into so many issues with them. So my account just has had drama on it that I'm trying to figure out with them. And uh, it's just like, I can't really use it right now. So I'm gonna be trying to find a way like to, to make it easy to, tr to uh, submit a request via the payment side of things. So GoFundMe is the answer basically for this. I just put a, a two thousand dollar threshold, like by no means when I'm like, like, give me like two. No, that's not the case. Basically, I just have to put a threshold there of money to like build up in case you know as things roll and maybe more and more come in, it'll build. But yeah, the whole thing is basically just email me. We discuss what you want, come to a figure, agree upon it. I am no price gouger kind of guy. I just do this for the love of the game and anything that helps me in the process be able to continue to create and uh have like a very interpersonal exchange with somebody it's like it's a really fun thing to do and uh you know i just it's just a little bit of help for me basically so you know it's, it's a give and take scenario and uh yeah it's really enjoyable so anyways those details are down there i'm not gonna harp on that too much but i am gonna harp on this double big mac a pickle sliding note. Let's have a look at this thing. Oh, this thing's looking amazing. Put my tender hard in a blender and watch it spin around to a beautiful oblivion right now. That's exactly what's happening. This thing's gonna be awesome. I gotta tell you guys, there's just something about when you crave a Big Mac and it is fucking fresh. It's gonna be amazing looking so good oh. wow come on that is amazing it's so fresh extremely well constructed in the ratios i'm actually liking that it's not too lettucey today even though i usually wear them with extra lettuce but i'm kind of liking how it's not uh you know also guys respect your fucking burger man i said it once i'll say it again cradle to the grave you have to cradle it Respect the process, you know? Trust the process, but also respect it. Also, a big shout out to uh, my man's in Alaska. It's just funny, I was on this Alaska vibe about the State Trooper show, and then a dude that I've talked to, like a, a supporter on Instagram, he hit me up um, some time ago. We had some chats, but he basically just was hit me up with a thanks for getting me through my COVID basically he's got COVID right now oh shit shouldn't say that out loud on these videos the trigger word <laughs> but um he's laid up with the vid right now and apparently my vids I've been getting them through a rough time so that's what's up You know?
I've always done this shit for multiple reasons, but mainly for shit like that. Like, cause I have like go-to people that I'm like, when I'm feeling like shit or just like whatever, I, I throw them on and there's, I don't know, there's something about that person's whatever, their energy, their vibe, their, what it is that they create. That kind of just provides you a nice little comfort. And there's nothing better than finding any semblance of like peaceful comfort or rescue when you're sick. Somebody bringing you the toast with the soup and a little ginger ale and they're kind of helping you out and all that stuff. But then they leave you alone. That's the thing. I'm a very independent sick person. I don't like people being around really. I'd rather uh, rather arrive and wallow in my pain alone. But the uh, the little helps where you don't have to get up and do stuff for yourself. That's that's what's up. Also, nobody wants to be around you when you're sick, right? That's just common sense. But yeah, anyways, long way to say shout out to you, my brother. Super fresh. Super fresh. Super cross is on tonight. Yes. Anaheim one, baby. Y'all know I'm into the dirt bikes. I'm so excited. So much uh, talent in the field. It's going to be amazing. Now, I know you guys see me flexing these bottles of water. I'm just super over the soda and diet soda. It's like I eliminated the, the uh, wow, I eliminated the diet sodas a while back. Uh, definitely even prior to probably trying to lose weight and stuff. But when I eliminated them out of when I was trying to, when I was losing weight, I tell you what, the soda maybe diet, but that aspartame, the fake sugar. I think it still tricks and triggers your body into insulin spikes and things that like definitely still play a factor in weight gain and weight loss. Because once I stop them, this is the junior chicken. Now in America, this is your McChicken. This is our junior. We have a different McChicken. This one's got a touch of spice to it and it's smaller and cheaper. But what I'm saying is, is Diet Pop once I cut it out, it really affected losing weight. And I was always curious about that. But I could pretty much confirm it now. Absolutely. Hmm. Has to be on tomato. I say this, this McDonald's is very fresh. Okay. Very, very fresh. We got dumped on another. Mm. Mm. 80 inches, half a foot. bunch of snow removal on a Saturday.
but that's good because burnt calories in anticipation for my meal right sweat it all out did my place and my mom's no I just washed this because I got subway all over it not too long ago and it smelled like red onions why are Subway's onions the stinkiest onions ever? Like, I've had red onions at home. They're not cool. Sure, they're strong. They smell like red onions, but they don't smell like Subway's red onions. Subway's red onions are nuclear in terms of the smell. It's crazy. Can you confirm? Plus water is just so refreshing. I don't know how people don't like it. A cold water, it's just the best. Okay, so snow removal, burnt some cows, got my meal for the day. Going home, prepping for supercross, anticipatory things. Still doing other stuff I gotta work on at home, but supercross. I'm so excited. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to all y'all. Much love to all y'all. And uh, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.